quick service announcement. Um, just got a question. Uh, I just don't understand why um, some people have to make a point to knock you down or maybe justify themselves that uh, they're doing good or they're doing better than you. Um, if you guys watch my videos, uh, not once did I say I was doing better than anybody. Not once did I say, did I even knock anybody's, um, anybody's hustle or anybody's, um, driving. Not once. Now, uh, if you guys called me or, uh, sent me some messages or whatever, I may have mentioned some stories, but I still didn't say I hate that company or I didn't like that company. Um, you know, I liked all but maybe one company that I've been with. And uh, so it's just funny to me. Like, um, you'll never I, I watch other videos. I watch other people's videos and I even watch, you know, uh, people, you know, either company driver videos. You know, there's some real, you know, big people on uh, on Facebook that I watch. And uh, they talk about, um, you know, what they do, you know, as far as pay and how they get down. But. I don't sit there and be like, man, you ain't really making nothing. You know, you're making pennies and you're driving for a company. So you have no control over anything. I don't do none of that. I don't do any of that stuff because I've been there. I've drove, I've driven for these companies. I had to get my experience somewhere. It's just that I have, me and my wife have a game plan and we're going forward with stuff. So we're starting from, we started from company drivers. Now we're lease owner operators. You know, and uh, we're going from there. You know, Lord willing, we'll have a truck this summer and we're going from there. And we're just going to keep building our company at our pace and how we want to build it. Now, if you guys want to do something else and you don't lease or you're a company driver and you make 13 to, to $1,500 a week. Hey, honestly, that's good money. I'm not even that's why you don't hear me talking about people. That's good money as a company driver. That's real good money. So. How about you get your own page and promote that stuff? You know what I mean? Get your own page and promote. Hey, you can make fifteen hundred dollars at uh, at certain companies. You know, you don't have to be all about all about this nonsense, man. Like, I don't knock nobody's stuff, but it's it's funny how people always make it a point to be like, "See, that's that bull crap that I'm talking about." Don't be listening to that. Why? You know why? Why are you hating on us? I mean, I'm glad you're hating on us because I'm, you know, the, if, when the hate comes out, that means we're doing something right. If nobody hated on us, that means we're not doing something right. That means we're not rubbing people the wrong way or people are, are uh, maybe feeling the type of way because they ain't doing certain things or whatever. I don't I don't know what the problem is. I really don't care, really. But I'm just trying to let you guys know that uh, there's no need for all that. There's no need for all that. It's just, hey, I'm just giving my opinion and my lifestyle and, and what we're doing in trucking. And I'm trying to help others. I'm not begging you to come over here. I'm not begging anybody to uh, get over here to, uh, with Snyder. Come on. I'm just telling you what we do. And I'm just telling you there's a different option. That's all I'm saying. Because I've been to the other options. I've done the per mile leasing I, I leased a truck with a per mile i leased a truck with a uh before this coming i leased a truck with a um purchase i mean with a uh, percentage so i'm just telling you my percentage i haven't even got into i own my own truck and i own my own trailer now i'm um a real independent contractor well i what i say goes you know as far as the rate i can't choose my rate uh, at snyder you know i can't do that but as a, a, a true independent contractor, you can. You can say you can call up these uh, Coyote and and uh, all these other places. I don't know why that's the only one that comes to my mind. But all these other places and and negotiate your rate. That's the best way to go starting out. And then you get set freight lanes, and you get a set price. How do you think all these other companies started? You know they start hauling uh, freight for a Home Depot at a three dollars and 25 cent rate and then they start buying trucks 
and having company drivers do it and they take their percent they take they pay them 35 cents and they take the rest 35 cents a mile and they take the rest or 40 cents a mile now is 40 and 50 percent 50 cents a mile now and they take the rest how you think they got started but um you know so that's all good and i and i lord willing we'll get to that point because we're not done we're just getting started man i've only been driving what four five years i've been driving five years and for three of those years i was a company driver three long years <laughs> three years i was a company driver so i know what company driver is all about i know the stresses the heartaches and i know the benefits of being able to get in a hotel when your truck breaks down being able to get fifty dollars to seventy dollars a day when your truck breaks down or being in the spot where you don't get no freight and you got to sit for a day and now you check instead of looking at a thousand dollars uh you're getting a six hundred dollar check or you're getting a four hundred and fifty dollar check because you sat or whatever i've been there i've done all that it, it happens in a lease purchase it happens you know you get there and you, you're doing good for the week and then your truck breaks down the only difference is now you got to come out your pocket and go to a hotel then you got to come out your pocket and pay for all your uh your truck expenses uh your truck breaks down if you don't have a, a warranty you got to pay for all that and then sometimes you still got to pay, you know, your deductible. So, you know, I've been, I've done all that. And then you got more freedom as an independent truck driver. You got more freedom. So you got to be more disciplined because you'll want to go home more. You'll want to go uh, to Florida more like I do. I want to go to Florida right now because it is freezing up here in New York. I'm about to, I'm about to jump off a bridge. It, it's so f cold. It's like negative. I don't even know what it's freezing, but you know, and I want to uh, get down south and chill out for a little bit, you know, but I got to make sure I got to make sure my truck payments covered. I got to make sure uh, I have money coming in, you know, uh, to pay my other bills, you know, so you still got to work. You just got a little bit more freedom. You can go home a little bit more often. If you work hard, you can play hard. Simple as that. You work hard, you can play hard. You run for three weeks or two weeks or you run real good one week you know and make some good money you can take off a couple days and then go back out but you run hard for two weeks you can take some time off you don't have to beg nobody to take some time off that's all i'm saying but it's just funny you know i didn't say nothing about your company and what you're doing but i'm watching everybody i'm looking at these videos i'm watching people I'm watching people talk about certain companies like, yay, this and that. And then I'm watching them leave and go to other companies. That could very well happen with me. I could leave Snyder, uh, uh, you know, next year or in a, in a few months. And then I'm going to be like, hey, well, I'm doing this now. You know, but I'm happy where I'm at now. You know, so because they're affording me the opportunity to do, to do different things. And the freedom to do different things. You know, and you got to realize this the uh, percentage thing has only been going on for, I think somebody told me five years or four years, something like that. It's only been going on for three, three years or four years or something, you know, and then the team uh, uh, low board didn't start until a year after that. So all this stuff is still fairly new with the percentage for them, you know, it's working out. It's good, but, you know, there's some tweaks that they can uh, uh, get better. Put me in the office. Actually, bring me in the office. Just ask me a couple questions. And I'll tell you exactly three major points y'all can uh, change just to help. For the driver. Not for yourselves. Stingy. But anyway. But, uh, you know, I love it. I love, the, I love the company. I'm just messing. But um, you still can up that thing to 70%, 75%. I'm just all I'm saying. You know, don't call, it don't cost that much to do some paperwork. But anyway. <laughs> Um, you know, so we're, we're, we're excited about the things that are going on. I just wanted to make that point to say, dude, get off my page, man. Like what's the purpose of, uh, 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 cyber stalking us and seeing what we're saying to be like, man, don't be listening to all that. This dude is an idiot, man. That's stupid. Dude, I've seen videos and I'm like, dude, that's stupid. Or why would you do that? But I don't comment on them like you're an idiot or you're stupid. Only all that is is pride because you got to be heard or you want to make yourself known and you want to maybe arise out of somebody. I don't even fool with ignorant people like that. Honestly, I don't even fool with ignorant people like that. I made one comment back to one dude 
because he actually pissed me off. But after that, I don't I don't I don't respond to nobody's uh, negative stuff. I just keep it moving because I know what we're doing and I know how blessed we are. So whatever, you know, whatever to the haters. But uh, thank you to the haters, you know, so. You guys keep going forward. You guys follow your dreams. Don't follow nobody else's dreams. Follow your dreams and make sure you have goals. Set your goals and strive to do those goals. Don't be out here in this trucking world for 40 freaking years and you haven't even done nothing. You try to retire, but you didn't save no money. You try to retire and you still got to go back and uh, be a greeter at somebody. Don't do it. Try, try to set goals and try to strive to be better than you are today set a goal for next year or if, if that's too far out set a goal for uh, next month or, or quarterly every three months you're going to do this set a goal man and, and and go strive towards it because this is a very good vehicle to reach some of your goals even if it's outside of trucking and you're using trucking to reach your other goals you know just keep focused put them put them on your steering wheel you know what i mean post them on your steering wheel post them on your visor you know, uh, uh, hey, this is my goer. You will be a, a success. You will make it. You know, I do that. I used to do that all the time. I still do that. Hey, I, I, you got to have motivation uh, to go forward. But that's about it. I think my time's almost up. Uh, and and to, the reason why I don't have a new phone is because I try to act smart with my money sometimes. <laughs> and I don't feel like buying a new phone. I don't want a, a new Galaxy every freaking every year they come out every year this is ridiculous i got a galaxy 5 active and i'm happy with it it just sucks right now because my camera sucks and i'm gonna have to get another phone but other than that i wouldn't but peace out love you guys see you next time